Hello, my name is Chris Kiak. I'm a construction technology consultant, and I am here inside of virtual reality today using a software called VREX. And I have a structural steel detailing model as well as concrete reinforcement uh, detailing model that have been done by two separate firms and they're combined together. And I'm just going to showcase the power of being immersed in virtual reality to look for constructability issues and coordination issues between trades. And so let's go ahead and dive into this. The first thing that I sort of saw here was that, um, you know, this is a pretty small depth column and I can see these really large anchor rods coming up. So I'm going to just come in here and I'm going to uh, hide these objects just to take a deeper look underneath. And you can see that in the base plate and uh, it looks like that stiffener plate that was inside of the column, there are some oversized holes to deal with the tolerance of the placement of the anchor rod. And this coming up, you know, as far as it is, it might be a little bit bent a little bit out in the field or slanted a tiny bit, especially how high it's coming up out of the footing. And so when I look at this, there's really not a lot of room. You know, what's amazing about VR is you can actually see where your hands would go and you can get a true feel for scale. And, um, you know, trying to get that nut like on there and just kind of finger tighten that down. There's really not a lot of ability to actually get a wrench probably in there to tighten that um, unless I can have something come in from the top side. But, you know, just something that sort of pops out to you when you're looking in VR and there's not really a lot of wiggle room or movement room, especially depending on the weld size that's going to be inside of there. So these are just some things that you can really see easily when you're working in VR. Now, from a trade coordination point of view, um, let's actually undo and bring that plate back. Um, when I actually come down here and I look at the base plate condition, it looks like there's some vertical plates that are going down into the concrete that are attached uh, to the bottom of this base plate. And so when we sort of look at this from a coordination point of view, the first thing that popped out at me is if I go to my red lines here, um, you know, I've got this slab bar that's coming across this uh, green bar and it goes through those plates. And so this is going to be a clash. So I've got this pretty consistently all across, you know, about the three foot or so that this base plate is. So I would just need to ask the structural engineer, hey, what am I supposed to do with this? Do I just weld these hooks to the to here or do we need an alternative um, you know, sort of reinforcement detail for basically where the slab comes around this base plate. But these are the kind of things and the advantage of actually having 3D detailing for both the reinforcement and the structural steel. You can really find these coordination issues before you have to write an RFI when you're already out there on the job site in construction. So seeing the two trades together, we can clearly see the issue. Um, I could even actually bring the structural engineer in here with me in VR, or if I was in VR, they could actually look on their desktop um, in a live online session, and I could really quickly explain the issue. I could take this video, or I could take a bunch of snapshots. So let's actually showcase that. If I just wanted to quickly get a snapshot of this condition or issue, I could just uh, take a snapshot of that, add that to an email. And you know what's great about VR is I can get in really from any sort of perspective, so, you know, I don't have to be like an experienced, uh, you know, BIM guy to navigate a 3D model on a computer screen. I can just really get in here, move freely, freely around, get an understanding of exactly what's going on. I could look at this stuff. Let's say that I'm just doing a review and we're getting ready to mobilize construction on this in the next couple of weeks. And I just want to, you know, double check and make sure there's no issues. I can quickly get in here, find any last minute issues and make sure things get resolved before I actually spend any costs out in the construction site. So just wanted to quickly showcase um, the power of one 3D detailing for both steel and concrete and bringing them together and you know being able to find potential conflicts and issues, but then also the added value of working in virtual reality to get immersed and quickly see these issues from a life size scale. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content.